All right, guys, I was wrong. It's not the first time, obviously, that I've been wrong, but this one hurt. It really hurt. All of the indications at the FAA suggested that the PEA was going to be approved today. All of the boxes had been checked, but part of me was worrying just a little bit when I released that video a couple of days ago. What if they have some extra paperwork to do? What if there are a few more eyes that need to be dotted, T's that need to be crossed, etc., before they can actually go forward with this project. Well, it appears that that's what's happening. It's a two week delay, only two weeks, which is a unique development in this whole process. Instead of just putting it off for another month, they're being a lot more precise this time and giving themselves a lot less leeway. That suggests to me that this new date is definitely the day that it's going to be approved. But unfortunately, there's been another development since then. Now, this is something that's been in process for a while, but it only just hit the media. And that is a lawsuit that's been filed by the Sierra Club and strangely enough, a local Native American tribe, not against SpaceX, but rather against the organizations that manage its access to the beach. That is to say, the local Texas authorities that gave SpaceX the option to close the beach for testing in the first place. And they're saying that this is a violation of the Texas Constitution. Hello, YouTube. I'm the Angry Astronaut, and this is... Once again, I would like to acknowledge the incredible work of Boca Chica Gal and NASA Space Flight. They continue to do amazing work. Please subscribe to their channel and check out all the amazing work that they do there. But that having been said, there were so many things that were happening that made me optimistic as of late. S24 being transferred out to the launch pad, liquid oxygen being transported out to the tank farm, technically space SpaceX does not have the legal right to carry out any testing whatsoever. Their previous license expired a few days ago. So as of right now, they can't even carry out any static fires or anything else at this location. So I remain absolutely convinced that even though the FAA has not officially given the go-ahead to SpaceX, they actually have. If they hadn't, SpaceX wouldn't be doing all of this stuff out at Boca Chica. This is not easy stuff to do. It requires a great deal of logistical coordination, and it would be utterly pointless if if their future at Boca Chica was in jeopardy. I am convinced that they are going to be approved here in the next two weeks as the FAA has announced. So that being the case though, are there any other developments that could throw a wrench into the works? Well, as a matter of fact, yes there are. On June 1st, tomorrow that is, a judge is going to hear a lawsuit concerning access restrictions to a South Texas beach, that is to say the beach right at the Boca Chica test pad amid SpaceX activities for the Starship program, according to Space.com. So the Sierra Club, which is, of course, one of the most powerful environmental lobbies in the world, together with a tribe of Native Americans, the Carrizo Comre Crudo, I believe, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, have joined together along with a nonprofit called Save RGV. Now, interesting. Interestingly enough, the Sierra Club is not filing this lawsuit on environmental grounds. They already tried to stop SpaceX's plans for environmental reasons during the whole FAA process, which, by the way, is another reason that I believe that this whole thing is going forward, and this is why the Sierra Club is resorting to legal methods to try to block this as well. And they are not, as I said, suing for environmental reasons, but instead suing over beach access and saying what SpaceX is doing is a violation of the Texas state constitution. And they are not suing SpaceX. They are instead suing the Texas General Land Office and Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush, who, by the way, is the nephew, a nephew rather of George W. Bush. These guys really need to start coming up with some different first names. 
Now, the Carrizo Native American tribe has been a very strong ally of all environmental causes in Texas for a very long time, usually protesting against oil development and liquid natural gas. They have a very interesting history that is sadly marred by massacres and other injustices. I actually have their website linked in the description. They are very interesting, and I certainly sympathize with many of their causes. But unfortunately, I feel that this tribe has been manipulated into being pawns of environmental lobbies in order to try to get what they want without really realizing the implications of it. Space flight and space exploration can solve many of the problems with fossil fuels and liquid natural gas, as I have described in many of my videos about orbital solar arrays, which could eliminate our entire reliance on various types of fuel that damage the environment. It would be done in the long term, of course, but it can't be done without ships like Starship. It is absolutely vital that Starship testing continue if we want to have these kinds of alternate energy sources available to our civilization. In my opinion, the people who are named in this lawsuit really don't understand that. Instead, it's limited to this very narrow issue, which is, quote, the legislature amended the Texas Open Beaches Act to let Texas beaches close for spaceflight operations, and just five years later, SpaceX built its massive rocket launching facility 1,500 feet from Water's Edge on Boca Chica Beach. The defendants have closed Boca Chica Beach so frequently that RGV residents have seen their access essentially disappear. The Carrizo Comicrudo Nation, once again, I could be wrong there, which holds the land of Boca Chica sacred has been ignored while they lose access to their ancestral heritage. In just the first three months of 2022, the beach has been effectively closed for 196 hours. In 2021, it was effectively closed for over 600 hours. This is far beyond the numbers reported by SpaceX or even allowed under the framework the defendants are using as an unconstitutional loophole. The constant closures of Highway 4 in Boca Chica Beach are unconstitutional and have the effect of robbing local residents of a sacred place when they need it to commune, to reflect, to breathe, and to have a good time, said Mary Helen Flores, a local Brownsville resident. Boca Chica Beach was like no other. It was a wild place where we, generations of families, spent our quality time. We grew roots in the dunes and waters of Boca Chica. Family traditions had been maintained for decades until SpaceX. Now beach access is a gamble due to the SpaceX calendar taking top priority with governing bodies. SpaceX structures and activities impact access to our beach and the quality of our beach experience. The noise and light pollution are an obscene, unending presence in what is still a wildlife corridor. We need a remedy for our beach, for our wildlife, and for ourselves. And then they go on to say this is sacred land and the land of our ancestors. This is, of course, Juan Mancias, chairman of the Carrizo tribe of Texas. We had villages here to come together for our life ways and to fish and to live. Our ancestors are buried in these lands. Our umbilical cords are planted in these lands. No one has the right to deny us access to our sacred sites, which include the beach and the mouth of the river. Excessive beach closures impede and deter our people from giving offerings and prayers and visiting our sacred sites, these closures need to stop. And obviously, the only way these closures could possibly stop is if SpaceX closes up shop and moves the hell out, which would be utterly disastrous to the local economy. Hundreds and hundreds of jobs would be lost, tens of millions of dollars to the local economy would be lost, and really, what would be gained? I'm here to tell you, I've been to Boca Chica Beach on a number of occasions when locals come to play there, and yes, there may be quite a number of people who respect the sacred nature of the beach, but there's just as many who trash the entire area with beer cans and bottles of Jack Daniels. It is just as obscene to see what locals do to this area, and it's not just locals, of course, it's also tourists. This beach is open to all kinds of tourists who come over them from South
South Padre Island, and they are just as destructive. How the hell are you supposed to stop all of that? Getting rid of SpaceX will have no impact whatsoever. Now, is this lawsuit responsible for causing this two-week delay? Well, no. In my opinion, it's having no impact whatsoever. What's really causing the delay and what has caused the delay for all of this time is the fact that the FAA has had to thumb through an unbelievable number of public comments. By the way, they just published all of those public comments. I have the link in the description in case you really want to look at it. There are 25 volumes volumes of about 2,000 pages each. <laughs> so you're looking at about 50,000 pages worth of comments in case you have nothing to read for the next 20 years. That having been said, though, I do believe that this lawsuit may prove to be a thorn in SpaceX's side for a very, very long time to come. With every mishap if, during testing, and especially if there's an explosion on the pad, that's going to cause a great deal of damage to the surrounding area and quite possibly shower all of Boca Chica Beach with stainless steel shrapnel. Something like that might put a halt to all of SpaceX's act activities rather at this location. Something that they're going to have to consider if they really want Starbase to become a permanent, permanent rather launching facility for Starship. Something that may make this location impractical as time Time goes on unless Texas makes another change to their constitution that allows SpaceX to simply purchase this beach and somehow I doubt that that's ever going to happen. So the good news is I am confident that there's going to be an approval in two weeks. All of the indications suggest that there's going to be. I think it's just a matter of handling all the paperwork and responses associated to this insane number of comments that has created this two weeks week delay. However, in the long run, I think that this lawsuit and ones that are likely to follow may sabotage what Elon Musk plans to do in South Texas. If you like this content, please subscribe and please check out the description. There are many ways that you can help me keep putting out this content. I'm going to be taking a number of journeys during this summer to create new content on the spot and I can't do it without your support. So please Please have a look at the description if there's any way that you can help me out or just please like and subscribe and that will be help enough. So until this process is over and until environmental lobbies finally realize that spaceflight and space exploration can solve all of the environmental issues that threaten the future of our planet until they get this through their heads, I urge all of you to stay angry about space.